Hi, Jennifer from Tarl Speech with your pronunciation question. Today we have two words, positive, the presence of something, and negative, the absence of something. And these two words have everybody's favorite, the schwa syllable, and another favorite that I've been getting a lot of questions about, and I actually have a class on, the flap T, which in very simple terms, it's when we basically pronounce the letter T as a D sound. So let's take a look at our words, positive and negative. So let's start with word number one, positive. So to say this word correctly, start by saying pause. And to do that, what you're going to do is have your lips together for the P and then open very wide um, into an oval mouth shape with the tongue in the bottom of your mouth um, for that ah sound, pause. End with the Z sound for that syllable. And to do that, you're going to close your mouth. Um, it's still going to be open a little bit, but your mouth is going to be more closed so that you can make the Z sound. And the Z sound is made with your tongue behind your front teeth that is not touching and the air is moving out of your mouth and your voice box is on. So it is not a letter S sound, it is a Z sound, pause. Next, add the short uh, syllable. To make this short enough, I am telling people recently to add it or connect it to the first syllable. Something like this, pausa, pausa. Real short and real quick. Then we're going to end with div. Yes, div with a D sound, even though it's spelled with a T. And to do this, you're going to touch the tip of your tongue behind the back of your top front teeth. Your voice box is on and moving. Um, if you say this incorrectly, your voice box will be off and you will say a T sound. So make sure that it's on and you're saying a D sound. And then you're going to move to that short I sound and then end with a V. V. This sound is made by gently biting your lip and the air is going to move out of your mouth. Mistake I hear a lot is that people close their lips and close their mouth and then it sounds more like a B sound. So make sure your mouth is open so that that air can continue moving out of your mouth. Pausa, div, positive. Let's move on to negative. Very similar, let's start with the first syllable, neg. And to do this, the tip of your tongue is behind the back of your top front teeth. Air is moving out of your nose for the N sound. And then you're going to move to that short eh vowel, the short E. Your mouth is slightly open. The tongue is um, not at the top of your mouth, but sort of moved down a little bit more into the middle. And then we're gonna end with a G sound, g. And to do this, the back of your tongue is pulled up and the tip of your tongue is down towards the bottom of your mouth, neg. Connect that to that schwa syllable, a, uh, nega. And then we are going to end with div again, div, negative. Positive, negative. Positive, positive, positive. Negative, negative, negative. I like both your positive and negative comments. Give it a try. I know people are going to notice the difference. If you found this helpful, we would appreciate a like and a share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, we love to hear them. It gives me ideas for more videos. Leave them in the comments section below or visit us at tarlspeech.com. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you again soon.